Connector, we're taking a look at my new plugin network control. I coded it in took me about half an hour or so, but it's based on a cool idea that I did have, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So basically this plugin allows you to um, join one server and be able to uh, have a command run on all of your servers. You can add as many to the network as you'd like. So say you own a server and you've got SG1, SG2, SG3, or you know you've got a faction server, SG server, whatever. And for some reason, you know you're getting hacked or whatever, and you need to whitelist all the servers. Just go ahead and type in slash control, and then whitelist, or you type in all, and then whitelist underscore on, and it would whitelist all the servers. So it's pretty darn cool. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install it and use it. So uh, the first thing we're gonna need a MySQL database. Now, if you guys already have a MySQL database and you know how to use them, then you can go ahead and hit the annotation in the top corner. It will then skip this part. However, if you've never used a MySQL database before, I'm gonna walk you through it using a free website. Now, I do not suggest that you use a free website. Most of the time, you can get a free MySQL uh, database from your host, and if you can't get it from your host, then you can pay for one, and they're a lot more reliable than these free sites. However, if you really must use a free site, I'm going to be using freemysqlhosting.net. So what we'll do is we'll go to the website here. I'll leave the link in the description box for you guys. Go ahead and hit start my free account. Then you'll go ahead and enter your email there, and then hit register. It'll then go ahead and send you an email, I've already gotten my email, so I'm all good. Then go ahead and hit login, and they'll send you a password in the email that they send you. I got mine over here, so I'm just going to paste that in. Hit login, and you'll be into your account. Great. Now, you won't see this stuff yet, guys. You're going to have to go ahead and hit um, some kind of button around here. Start my mask bow database or something like that. Just go ahead and hit that. It'll set one up for you. Refresh page, and it should say live. All right, now we've got a MySQL database set up. Let's go ahead and install a plugin. So this is what I see because I'm a developer. However, um, you guys will see a download button over here or down here. You can click on one. Make sure to get the newest and best one. This will ensure that it's got the best features and it is relatively bug free. I'm going to go ahead and hit files here and I'm going to download the newest version from the files tab. Then hit download here and hit keep. We then go ahead and hit show and folder here. Um, like so and then we can go ahead and copy it like so now I'm assuming that you already have two you already have two servers set up and like like you I actually have two servers set up so I've got server and then I've got server copy right here great what we're gonna do is go to the plugins folder and hit paste these are two separate full uh, servers so we'll go to the plugins folder and hit paste in and it's all good Okay, they're running right now, so we'll go ahead and hit reload here. Alright, you might get a little bit of an error right there, because there's no MySQL database set up. Um, SQL exception, you'll see, it'll say field to connect to database default. Um, and then it'll give you this error, I'll actually patch up this error here, because it's trying to check for commands when there's actually no MySQL database available. So, I'll make sure that it checks if it's available first, with it, so we don't get that spamage but for now it's going to spam us now we go into that plugin folder and you'll see it's created a new folder for us go ahead and up no network control and edit with your favorite text editor i'm using notepad plus plus okay we'll go ahead and do the same thing over here i believe yep okay and these are the two here what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this and we're getting our mysql database host so i'll grab this here copy it and then enter this for the host I was just putting it in quotes, although it probably won't matter. All right, great. We got the MySQL database name, so ours is SQL three three one three five two. Because I'm guessing this is our, you know, our number um, database. We'll put that in quotes. It's just safer to put things in quotes when using MySQL, just in case you have any characters that'll throw an error. All right, then we'll go to the username and paste the username into both of these configs. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and put it in quotes, although it really wouldn't shouldn't matter. And then as far as your password, you go ahead and you check your email. I used an old AOL email because I don't want them spamming me. So we'll go ahead and go to Whoa. We'll go to the email there and it'll tell us our password. Now I know that you guys are seeing my passwords here, although I don't really care too much because you guys will um I'll be leading it before the end of the episode. So that's alright. So we'll put our database password in here. 
like so and that should be that as far as connecting goes now there's a few other things we want to change first of all the server name this is what's going to tell the plugin that hey i am i've already checked i've already done this command and i don't have to do it again so this will be hub one and we'll make this hub two Check delay is in ticks. That's something to be um, cautious about. It's in ticks. 20 ticks equals one second. Uh, therefore, this is five seconds. Okay? Actually, it's 10 seconds. I'm sorry. Therefore, that is every 10 seconds. It will check the MySQL database. Um, higher is probably going to be a little bit better, so it's not constantly pinging the database. Although, you don't want to be too far apart where commands, if they need to be done right away, they're not actually um, working properly. So, we've got that, and we'll hit Command S, Command S. And then we'll go ahead and, um, one second, I'm going to go ahead and open up the PHP my admin here. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to, okay, I'm going to open this up in a second window here. Server, I'm assuming it's going to be this. Put server in here. Username will be here. And then our password is once again in our email. Go ahead, hit enter this, and then hit go. All right, great. We're logged in, and now I'm going to go ahead and reload the server. The The database, or the plugin, is going to be smart enough to create its own table if there's not one already. I wouldn't suggest creating your own. Just go ahead and reload the plugin, and it will create the database for you, or the table in the database for you. It'll say table commands were successfully created, but that'll happen the first time you load the plugin in. Otherwise, it'll say nothing when it goes to enable. We go ahead and refresh this page now, and you'll see that the commands table should have generated itself. Great. Go ahead and open that up, and you'll see that it's empty, although it does have a structure, which is number, command, target servers, and completed servers. The number is just the number of the um, the number of the request. The command is actual command. Target servers are the target um, the servers that's supposed to be ran on, and completed servers are the servers that it has already been run on can't browse because there's nothing there yet. All right, great. Now we've connected to the database. We've got our two plugin servers right here. I'm going to go ahead and connect to one real quick. And you'll see that we're in here. Now I am op, hopefully. So that means that I'll be able to enter the I'll be able to enter the command. If I'm not, it'll give me an error. So the command is slash control. If we don't enter two um if we don't enter these two arguments, it'll give us this help menu. It'll say separate the server names by commas and use all the run on all servers, and then add spaces to commands by using underscores and use and a to run for all players. So I'm going to go ahead and explain this to you guys real quick. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to type slash control, and then we're going to enter the server name. For this one, we're going to save it on all servers. So we'll just put all. Then we'll put a space, and then we want our command. I'm going to say say pizza is good. Now these command are these spaces are these underscores will become spaces when the command actually gets ran. So, okay, we'll go ahead and run that. It'll say running pizza is good for all and it'll run that command. So, if we open up both of our plugins, you'll see that it'll say pizza is good. In a couple more seconds, you'll see that it's going to say deleting say pizza is good because it's already been done. This means it'll clear the database of it, so that it's not cluttering in your database. Because if you have all these listed there, when we go to check for commands, it might take a while. So you see, we've got both of them have ran that command, and it's all good. Let me show you this again. Although this time, we'll go ahead and we will put, we will view it in here. If it doesn't delete it before we do. You'll see that in our data, oh it didn't work one second here have to say it again, I think. I didn't get to it in time. Yeah, I deleted it. Alright, so we're going to say it here. Then go to... Yeah, I'm not able to do it in time. But it'll list it here if it's um if it's there. So, now let's say that we only wanted to run it on Hub 1. Now, we should be on Hub 1 right now. So, actually, let's do it on Hub 2. Slash control, Hub 2. Say, underscore, hello, underscore, Kyle. Because that's my name. It's going to run say hello Kyle for Hub 2. So if we go ahead and open up Hub 2, it should say it here. Oh, there it is. We're actually on Hub 2. All right, now if we want to say it on Hub 1, we do that. And it would only be run on Hub 1. Actually, it deleted it because it's the same command. There we go. Now we'll do it again. And it should run through here. 
you'll say hello Kyle. Awesome. Now what if we wanted to do something a little bit different? Remember I'm on Hub 2 right now. What if I wanted to go to the Hub 1 console and I wanted to say say uh, perhaps actually no control let's do kick. So we're going to do it to Hub 2 and we're going to say kick underscore and p and a underscore sorry underscore network underscore issues period basically it's going to run this command for everyone that's online if it contains and a so we'll go ahead and put that there and you'll see that it's going to run it for everyone that's online on hub 2 only me so it only run it once so we say here it's a kicking player Kyle that which is in sorry network issues and I get the kick great it's all working now that is pretty much it as far as the plugin works and if there's any issues please be sure to leave them in the uh, comments of the of the bucket plugin please that's the best place to put them and I'm gonna try and do some updates to this to make it a little bit better and a little bit faster such as groups so say we had SG servers so we can list all the groups in the SG servers and then we can say um, you know control SG say hello Kyle and then all the p servers in that group will be able to uh, run that command so We'll get to that eventually, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. If you have any issues, be sure to put it in the comments, and I'll be sure to help you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.